today's video, I will be showing you the best controls and settings for Warzone Mobile. I've been playing this game for months in open beta, meaning I've had a lot of time to test. I've also been playing mobile games for the past seven years as a content creator and a professional player. So those are my credentials. If you guys enjoy today's video, hit the like button, subscribe for more like this, and let's get into the setting. First, we have the overview tab, and there's three very important settings here. The first one is control sets. This is your default HUDs that you can use. I recommend you go through, you look at each one of these, you find your absolute favorite. The one I recommend is default auto. That's gonna have most automations off, full squad display, tactical sprint on button, which is important, and auto parachute once, which I prefer. I mean, if you really trust yourself, you can turn that off. We're gonna talk about later in the video. And then for the other settings, we have weapon trigger. 100%, I recommend you put this on manual fire so you're not just shooting wildly when an enemy runs in front of you. You wanna be able to choose when to take shots. That way you can single shot or burst fire if you need to. Next up for automations, we have this on custom and we're gonna mess with that here in a second. So the settings we're gonna be talking about is three of these panels. We have overview, gameplay, and interface. We will be avoiding sensitivity and customizing your HUD because I have separate videos for those. Next up, we have the gameplay controls tab. Now this one is extremely important, actually the most important in the game. So I'm gonna go over a lot of it, not all of it, cause there's just a million different settings. Some of them are self-explanatory why I'm not running them. But anyways, let's get into it. These first three, you want them on, you want the auto equip settings to be checked on. The AI for this is actually really, really strong. If you land next to an enemy and you both don't have a gun, but there's one in the middle of you two, if you have this setting on and they do not, you're gonna pick up that weapon first and be able to kill them. Weapon auto pickup options. I really like the way they have this formatted. I have that on. Turn to damage assist. You don't want the game turning the screen for you. It's gonna screw you up a lot. So I have that off. Loot auto pickup. I like the way they have the AI set up for this. It's really good. I've had no problems with it so far. Auto mantle, another thing that moves and, and changes your movement for you, which is not good, especially when a lot of the times you're gonna be behind, for example, a bookshelf. You pop up from behind it and it's gonna mantle you. And when you don't want to, you just wanna sit on that head glitch. Parachute, this is one that's personal preference. I like to auto once right before I hit the ground just in case I miss my button or something. But if you feel really confident, you can put this on manual so you have to hit it yourself. Climb stairs button, I don't really see a reason for even using this. Auto crouch also doesn't really make sense to me. Turn corners assistance, like really? No, you don't need that either. Auto equip armor, this one also is a little bit of preference, but for me, it's very simple to equip armor. You just click yeah. the button and you can choose how many times you wanna to equip too. You don't need auto equip armor. Uh, virtual stick behavior, this is pretty important. Make sure it's set to analog because sometimes you wanna walk around the map because if you sprint, you're gonna sound like an elephant and always sprint obviously makes you always sprint, which is not good. Sprint to stand is really important actually. It makes it so you get up from crouching or laying on the ground a lot faster. Camera rotation mode. Now this is getting a little bit into your sensitivity. Um, I don't know how much I wanna talk about this. Fixed means that when you move your finger on the screen, your sensitivity does not change. It stays constant, but accelerated, the faster you swipe your finger, the faster your sensitivity is gonna ramp up. I'm trying both of them, but currently I'm running accelerated. This is all preference. So these allows rotation settings, there's three of them. What that means is the button that you're clicking is gonna allow you to move your screen around. So for example, if I'm shooting and I have my finger on the shoot button, if I drag my finger down while I'm shooting, it's also gonna drag my screen down. So I don't like that. Some people do. I know some pro players who do use that. So that is also preference again. Weapon mount, movement exit. This is good. This means that when you're in a gun mounted, you can literally just move the sprint button in a certain direction. And if you hold it for long enough, it'll jump you out of the car, which is good because it makes for an easy, quick exit. Weapon trigger, we talked about this a second ago. You want this manual, you wanna choose when you wanna fire. Auto fire on objects, no, that makes no sense. Like what, why would you wanna fire an object? I don't know why that's in there. Auto fire range limiter. If you're using auto fire, turn this on, please but don't use auto fire. Uh, single shot on tap, you wanna choose when to fire your sniper, you don't want it shooting for you. And uh, aim down sights when firing. This is not good unless you're like a brand new player. Aim down sights behavior. There's actually a lot of debate about this. So if you use hold, you hold and then however long you hold for, that's when you're gonna be aiming down sights and toggles, you just tap it and you're gonna zoom in. This really doesn't matter too much. Just use whatever you're comfortable with. Focus behavior, I actually like to use auto. This is pretty much when you're sniping and you're holding your breath. You can have a button for that, but I think there's so many buttons in the game. So I'd rather just have the game focus for me. I don't wanna do that when I'm sniping. Auto melee, some people say this is really broken because it has a ton of aim assist, but I play seven fingers, so I don't use this because I have a separate finger just for the melee button. But if you don't and you're playing like three to two fingers, turn auto melee on. Sometimes it's pretty good. Sprinting door bash. Yes, this is important when you're sprinting in a door. 
most of the time, especially when you're running away from people, you don't wanna to have to click the door open button. Before you get to the door, you just wanna run through it. Force reload, this is not good at all. Do not use this, please do not use this. Force auto, no, just don't do any of that. Aim assist, obviously, yes, you want aim assist that aims for you, especially if you're on a controller. Vehicle controls, I find it easier to move with arrows, but try both of them. Gyroscope, I don't use that, I can't really talk about that. Outlines, you want outlines on for everything, it just highlights and makes it really easy to see enemies and teammates. Next up, we have the interface controls, and for left fire display, I have this off, you really don't need two shoot buttons. And below that, we have fire buttons while auto fire. If something says auto fire, please just turn it off too. And for show ammo, you've integrated and separated. Separated is when there's a different section of your screen that's gonna show the ammo that you have in your gun, which I think is kind of pointless. I'd rather just look at my gun to see how much ammo is in it. So keep this on integrated. You really don't want too many things clustering your screen. And hit marker display, I changed this a lot. I changed it to small size and lower the opacity to 50%. I just think with larger hit markers, it can get distracting and you're not able to see or track enemies as well if you have these big hit markers covering them. Next for movement, I have auto sprint lock off. Now this is a personal preference because auto sprint lock, it's a little tiny sprinting logo above your movement pad. And if you drag your thumb up to it, it's just gonna continuously make you sprint even if you take your, your hands off the screen. I don't like this, but you can use it if your thumbs get tired and you're playing a big map like Verdance. Next up, change stance. I have this on merged because I like to be able to crouch, slide, and drop shot with the same button. If you're using a ton of fingers, you could maybe play on split, but I think there's just so many buttons and this is one that you can kind of play with one crouch button. Fixed joystick, I have that off. I don't like it. I used to use it a little bit, but I think just dynamic is better. I like my joystick to change positions based on where I put my thumb. Fixed just keeps it in the same spot. And mobile games, especially like this, are very dynamic. You want your joystick to react to your movement. And then none of these others really matter too much. I mean, resupply alert. Resupply alert, I guess is pretty important. It tells you when you're low on either plates or ammo. Reload cancel alert too. Sometimes that's kind of useful because you think you reload and then something happens and you don't. So it'll just let you know. But uh, that's it for all the settings today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, we're going roof here. I think there's one above me. We're gonna just punch this guy. Yeah, let's just punch him out here. Sorry, man, that was kind of bullying a little bit. You definitely should have grabbed this gun right here. I think he kind of panicked a little bit because he thought I was like right on him. What other gun do we have? Yeah, not doing that, man. Let's uh, make sure that we have as much shields as we can, the best loot we can before this, because we're on a bit of a struggle bus right now. We got, well, how many bullets? 18 bullets in here? Yeah, I don't really like that. I was like debating if I wanted to even shoot that guy. Where the, is there no guns this one here? All right, my team is pushing him. We might want to go. That was a striker. All right, we, we actually got some good loot. These guys run away. I think he ran after I cracked him. I might go on the roof. Anyone else? There's some below me. Two we knocked. Car below us. This is a real player, 100%. My bullets were not registering there for a second. That was almost a rip. They're not registering right there. Okay. You didn't think I was gonna chase you? Bro thought he got away from me. You're not getting away from me that easily. I'm gonna keep running double SMGs because I feel like it's really good for playing in jailhouse. Someone out front, my team is cooking right now. I'm gonna kill this guy. Are you gonna die? Make sure these guys actually die. One over there. One on top of me right here actually. Bro, my bullets, they're barely registering. Not today. I'm not getting away, man. Wait, let's go right here. That's my kill. There's one behind me. 
I'm taking these kills, man. These are mine. That's my teammate. Is there people over here? Another one knocked. There's more above us right here. Slow down outside the zone. Oh yeah, it's way outside the zone, Rip. Wait, there's someone here though. Hello, bullets? Oh, my ping is probably like 200. Knocked him. gonna die or are you gonna stress out? Okay, how many kills we got? 11? Not a bad game at all. There's a lot of real players in this lobby too. Kind of a W. Okay, Nice job, team. Well played. GG.